Joy to the So here's the car, it's painted, uh, Merry Christmas everybody, um, man I work so hard for this and i paying the price as far as like being in pain but getting help and everything so uh, just thank the people that helped me along the way, you know just doing what they can even though like I did most of it, any help, um, greatly, greatly appreciate it, so yeah so um, Here's the car, here's the paint. This is by Era Paints. This is uh, three cans of base coat and four cans of, um, of um, clear. I had to buy two more extra cans for this side and I did that side with uh, their supply. So, oh crap, my phone's here, I didn't even know that. Oops, so um, as you guys can see, it looks really really nice um, in the painting video you did see a little bit of something here and I don't know what it was with that I'm guessing it was reflection of the Sun but it's not there so like when I seen that I was kind of like mmm that kind of looks bad but the door handles I'm gonna take them off and um, you know refurbish them clean them up real nice along with the mirrors but yeah here she is um this side came out uh, i think a little bit better but it still has like some bad spots so as you guys seen um there was like that primer area right there you could still see a little bit of the primer can't really tell but it's there this was blue already so me spraying this it was just like spraying blue on blue so it was gonna be like nice and I got a nice run right here, as you can see. That's not wet, that's just a runny clear coat. I accidentally put too much. So I went right here, and then I fixed this area that's um, pretty clean. And you could also see where it was uh, the old base coat and the clear coat kind of came out wrong. Like, I don't know if you could see that, but there's a line right here that goes all the way. But very, very, you know fine but you can't even tell from here so all right here came out good pretty good you could still see where it was like like a hard edge of the base coat where it meets clear coat and I didn't feather it out enough and you could actually feel it too so that's kind of annoying but it looks a hell of a lot better I accidentally painted over filler right here so I'm planning to get some I'm expecting to get something uh, you know some type of failure right here um, but we'll just see how that goes but painting over base coat painting over filler with base coat I don't know about that but because I know filler it absorbs uh, moisture and um, it wouldn't adhere so we'll just see how that goes I could always redo this it was um, I invested a hundred dollars into this um, through my own supplies and everything and a lot of the other stuff like the little like body filler um, spreaders masking uh, the paper and everything I had that from the CRX so I saved a lot of money she has a lot of dents little door dings look down the side I mean it actually looks a lot better because that sanding that I did I corrected a lot of the waviness because I don't know it was just super super wavy and I ended up just getting all the little stuff the small stuff out but what you see is actually what it looks like in person or it might even look better in person it's crazy so I painted over here got that right there I painted this also this was a little blend job too 
And then another bad part is I don't have a lot of base coat on this. You could see some primer marks. It doesn't show up on camera, but under the sun, you do see gray primer here. So don't let the, uh, you know, don't let this camera fool you. Um, I need to put more color here, definitely. But that came out pretty dang sweet. Look at that. Nice and glossy. You could see my reflection right there, building behind me. Right here. So another little thing, the car's dirty, as you could see right here. That's just, um, yeah, like I just wiped it down. I can't even wash it right now since it's just so new, the paint. So um, I actually ended up masking off this little emblem. My brother put this, these come off of the first gen Integra and he liked it so he put it on this one so uh, I couldn't take it off he used probably I'm guessing like super glue or gorilla glue or some type of crazy glue where it's not really rubbery it's more of like a hard plastic type glue and I couldn't get it off without breaking it so what I did I just masked it off and I painted over it and then I just took off the masking tape and it came out incredible so um, yeah I know I know I just it would have been best just to take it off, sand it, and have it like that, but I'm never gonna take it off anyway, so who cares? That was a nice match right there. So now let's get to this side. This side's kind of interesting. You see that mark? That's because it was a low spot right there that I didn't sand down. And when the metallics go over something, the metallics settle and they start to turn, the metallics turn. So that reflection, if I go over to this side, it disappears. But then the little mirrors inside of the metallic, it fights against you, and it's not laid the same way as this. The mirrors or the little pieces of flake are flipped, so that's why you get that. And um, yeah, that's just an imperfection in the actual panel, and I put base right over it, so oops and one thing that I did not see that until the clear was on so I couldn't even correct it until it was just too late walking down right here this was a, a hardest area because I had so many um, repair areas I had right here I had right here 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 and right there and this is where things kind of went like a little bit south and it was a fail I was worrying about covering these up until I got to the fender and I ran out of base and now the base now you can see primer like there's not enough uh, paint on here like you see right there how it's a little bit light that's primer like you could this is like 70% paint and 40 30% uh, primer so that came out kind of a fail right there so I don't know what to do with this fender just repaint it or what this is a, um, a junkyard fender. I did end up pulling it with a little help. And yeah, no damage at all. Came out very, very nice for a junkyard fender. Just prepped it and painted it. So I am going to order um, another can for this and possibly for the bumper. And maybe even the rear bumper. We'll see how things go. Maybe two more cans I'll be able to do the bumper this fender and um, and the back bumper but yeah I'll hit them up and um, order that up and get it done like next year and stuff now what kind of sucks though is that um, the bumpers the moldings the mirrors the door handles even the wheels uh, everything the hood everything just kind of makes the paint look bad because uh, it's like that you could clean up your windows and have this looking good and then your paint's bad and then once you get the paint proper everything else just looks terrible you know I mean I'm pretty sure you know that the painters know what exactly what I'm talking about like how it's in the detail and now I'm chasing the trimming on how to like brighten this up and I overspray primer overspray I gotta clean you know and paint this up I gotta clean these up it's just uh yeah it's like a snowball effect you do one thing and then you got to do everything to make it look nice so but yeah guys that's how she looks 
pretty pretty crazy how things changed and uh, yeah I couldn't uh, do this without Arab paints for supplying the base so 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 freaking cool and grateful that I got my brother's car to look like this on a budget and this was 100% DIY and then I have like some overspray right here some rust and I painted this all the way up the pillar I took off uh, this rain channel trim whatever I got all around and yeah so that's about it guys this is a little video um, and if you want to see more of this car please like subscribe and yeah this is kind of crazy that it looks this good I'm kind of surprised the inside's a total wreck and inside I just I still have a lot more um, junk and stuff that I got to get rid of and you know wasted supplies and trash so yeah so new tires uh, the wheels I mean I don't know what I'm gonna do with the wheels but yeah it needs brakes it needs suspension it needs uh, power steering work um, but it'll get there I know if he's seen this right now he'll be like holy cow is that even my car but yeah this is kind of uh, kind of crazy